So this has some gaps and uh, some big tacks. And that's how it's been all over this box. The reason why you can see little, uh, like right there, that's where a tack was, is um, normally I like to make little tiny tacks, or if they're big like that, I'll grind them down. But on this, it really doesn't matter because it's just a little box. It's not going to be seen by a customer or anything like that. And I like to have them edge to edge. That's a good fit up. I mean, it's not clean or anything, but edge to edge like that. See, as we get down here, now it's reversed. That's going to weld up crappy. You'll be able to see when I'm done what I mean. It's just not fun. It's hard to keep your bead width exactly the same and uh, all that stuff. So I'm going to talk about bead width. On outside corners, the way I do it is really simple. I like to uh, burn it in until it just starts to nip both corners evenly. And that's when I start moving and adding rod. Um, some people do it differently. I like it to where it gets both corners and when you move the puddle actually moves. If you start moving and it just craters around it, it's not not hot enough. You need to give it just a little more until it's even all the way across and it moves with you. And that's how you get a nice consistent bead width and profile.